Jones. I'm Elias Baldwin, and I'll be representing the proposition on the topic of the United States replacing fossil fuels and using different energy sources. Our team would like to share on points on how it is necessary to replace fossil fuels with renewable energy. Our first point is that fossil fuels are spoiling the environment. Also adding on to that point, so like point and a half, is that burning any fossil fuels at all will just contribute to climate change and make climate change just as worse. And according to U.S. Geological Survey, our automotive and industrial industries are making some 24 billion tons of CO2 emissions every year worldwide. We are killing our, our planet. Climate change is increasing the risk of dying just because of bad air quality and extreme heat. The sea levels are rising because of climate change. High sea levels may cause natural disaster. According to U.S. Today, a lot of American cities run the risk of flooding because of the rise in sea levels. Replacing fossil fuels is one of the only ways that we can make the situation better. So let's do it before it's too late. Second, fossil fuels are non-renewable energy source that is projected to, to run out in 50 years. So if we keep using them at the rate we currently are, we'll run out of them and burning them will be pointless in the first place. It's important that we replace fossil fuels with renewable energy sources and we'll run out so and the earth is warming 2 degrees Celsius. What's the point of keeping fossil fuels around if they're killing our planet, especially when there are better options like solar, wind, and nuclear power? These are energy sources that are completely environment friendly. These are also sources that are available mostly everywhere in the world, unlike fossil-based energy. Even though it's not always sunny, and so when it's not sunny, it's windy, and the opposite. Nuclear and geothermic energy are also other options to replacing fossil fuel. Nuclear energy, um, wait, no, uh, geothermal energy is power produced from deep inside the earth. And here's the interesting part. Just digging six miles down, there is over 50,000 times more energy than all the fossil fuels in the world. And non and renewable, and it's reliable, and pollutant-free. It has been reliable for, for the past 4.5 billion years, and that's probably worth exploring. And this is how it works. You pump cold water down into the earth, and it makes it boil. Turn into steam, go up, and you pump cold water uh, uh, again in the, to heat building. And it goes up to heat buildings or spin a turbine that generates, that powers a generator that makes electricity. On YouTube, uh, watch J7. Yeah, thank you. Vote for the proposition. Hello, my name is Ethan Burns, and um, I am the opposition for fossil fuels sh should be replaced by renewable energy. Our reasons are that it's more economically stable than uh, fossil fuels are more economically stable than uh, renewable energy, um, and that they also don't cause they uh, fossil fuels cause less deaths than renewable energy does. Source. Source. Um, mm, Procon.org. Okay. Um, a world without fossil fuels would be so much worse than a world that relied on, on them. Right now, in 2019, more and more countries are becoming more reliant on sustainable energy. But fossil fuels are still among the most popular mediums for energy. Why do we change? Why will we change what's worked for hundreds of, hundreds of years? That's the thing. We shouldn't. The whole world still uses fossil fuels for most of its energy consumption, and it also won't break the economy, unlike the so-called energy of the future. According to Walter Youngquist, oil accounts for more than 90% of all energy for the world. This means that sustainable energy is used for less than 10% of the time. In addition, Jerry Taylor, senior fellow at Cato Institute, states, in a free market, cost dictates energy choices. Fossil fuels, for example, are economically attractive for many applications, because, because the energy available from fossil fuels is highly concentrated, easily transportable, and cheaply extracted. To explain, most companies that source uh, for other countries are so accustomed to non-renewable energy because they are more expensive than alternative energy. They are more inexpensive than alternative energy, but achieve the same goals. The reason that they are inexpensive is because coal, for example, can be mined easily, as stated by ConservantEnergyFuture.com. So why would we fix something? Why would, don't fix something that's not broke? Uh, vote for the opposition side. <coughs> Hello, I'm Michael. I think I'm the second speaker for the 
opposition side on the debate of the United States should replace fossil fuels by other alternative energy sources. So first of all, I'd, I'd like to take a minute to refuse some of my opponent's questions, uh, some, some, to refuse some of my opponent's points, and then I'll strengthen some of my own uh, team's arguments. First thing they said is that um, fossil fuels are more economically stable than other energy sources. But um, we have to think for the future. If fossil fuels are ruining our environment, then fixing that will cost way more than using different energy sources right now. They also said that it has worked for a while and people still use it, so why should we change it if it's not broke? Well, it actually is. Because like we said, and I'll say it again, it's ruining our environment. It's one of the main, uh, main things that actually causes climate change. Elias talked about that. I talked about it even more. It's definitely broken because even though it's doing good things, it's doing even more bad things. We have other sources that do things that fossil fuels do, but they don't cause as much damage, damage as they do. Now I'm going to talk about some of my own points. So first of all, uh, as stated before, fossil fuels are ruining our environment and killing our planet. Uh, it causes sea level to rise. This makes natural disasters more common. Places like Florida are already experiencing a lot of natural disasters, and they'll just keep experiencing more. So in, my late, in several years, it might not even be there. It might be flooded completely. Uh, people and animals are dying every day because of extreme heat. The climate is getting warmer. Uh, climate was already getting warmer, but we decided to make it even worse by using fossil fuels. Climate change can end humanity any day now. Stopping the use of fossil fuels is one of the first steps we can, we can take to, make, to improve this situation. Strengthening our point even more, fossil fuels are not renewable and are projected to run, uh, run out really soon. We have to start replacing fossil fuels soon or we'll be left with no energy really, really, really soon. Source? Source? ConverseEnergyFuture.com okay. Also, actually mining for fossil fuels is an extremely dangerous process. Every day workers die looking for them. And as we start using more, it will, fossil fuels will just get harder to find. Uh, in about 10 years, all of the easily accessible ones will be gone. The number of accidents will increase even more. We're, we're killing our planets and ourselves by using fossil fuels. Solar and wind power, for example, are great energy sources, sources that we should use to replace fossil fuels. Uh, at any moment, the sun emits about 3.86 times 10 to the 26 power watts of energy. So add 24 zeros to the end of that number and you get an idea of how imaginable large and the amount of energy that is. Most of that energy goes off into space by about 1.74 times 10 to the 17 power of what strikes the Earth. Uh, even though solar panels are expensive, like I said before, uh, unlike fossil fuels, you don't have to pay money to, for electricity if you already have solar panels producing power. Solar power is also available mostly everywhere, uh, like Elias said before. This is our uh, wind power is also uh, another source that is clean and we can use to replace fossil fuels. Uh, ConverseEnergyFuture.com said that wind power is also cost effective, so you can get power to a lot of homes. There are even more renewable sources like hydropower energy, biomass, and others. These are renewable energy is rising and we have to keep going to save our planet and all the biotic and the biotic factors on it. Thank you for listening. Uh, please go to the call. Hello, my name is Virgie Wenzel and I'm the second speaker for the opposition. To feed on my opponent's points, first what Elias said, he said that he said or he said that we could use nuclear energy to solve our problem, our energy problem. But as, as shown in 1986, Chernobyl malfunction blowing up in about 30 disaster relief workers died in the immediate aftermath of the explosion, according to PBS.org. After these many years, many levels of radiation caused death for the ones that survived, many cases of thyroid cancer, especially in children and adolescents at the time. We cannot risk the lives of the youth in order to fulfill our needs of power. The normal dose of radiation per year can go up to 10 milliseconds seabirds, as said by the World Health Organization. Around 240,000 people were exposed to over 100 millisieverts milli in the first year, which gives a higher chance for them to get cancer. All 240,000 of those people are people who have cleaned up, or clean up, but there may have been millions of more exposed to a less, little less radiation that is still dangerous that lived around the area of Chernobyl. To now expand on my, expand on Ethan's points, or that renewable energy can be dangerous. The Henan province in China, which 
26,000 people have drowned due to the failure of a major hydroelectric dam in the typhoon. The water crashing against the dam and the typhoon work together to weaken the dam, in turn eventually destroying it. This is one of the larger disasters for renewable power generators. Many more disasters can occur, such as wind turbines falling down and nuclear power malfunction. Thanks. Please vote for the opposition. Um, I'm the third speaker for the proposition side. First, I'm going to refute my opponent's points, then I'm going to start the points. Um, Sure, the future is, uh, so we should save the future, um, as they said, that it's economically more productive to keep fossil fuels. But if we save the future, we should not be living in, the, uh, uh, in luxury so that that'll just put more stress on our future generations. Second, they said that um, it's more reliable, uh, that it's not broken. But it really is broken, because if it's not broken, then why is it putting over two, 24, 24 billion tons of CO2 emissions every year in the air? Also, adding on to that, we did not say that just nuclear energy would be an option. If it's not a good enough option, we can just not use it. There's plenty of other options to use, and just using nuclear energy is not what we're talking about. Um, also. When you were talking about natural disasters happening or disasters that had to do with non -re with renewable energy sources, um, yeah, they're accidents. Some of them happen, but that also happens when uh, you mine for uh, for non-renewable energy sources or fossil fuels. Also, um, if we're warming the earth and we're rising the sea levels, of course dams are going to break. There's too much pressure. And that's is the, and that's our fault because of fossil fuels. Uh, that's, that's all. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, last word is repeated some of their points, and now I'm going to strengthen ours even more. Um, so, as we said before, fossil fuels will run out in the next 50 years. We have to replace them soon. So, the conversationfuture.com. Literally, anywhere you go, you'll see that on the on the internet. Ooh. Uh, so if we still re rely on fossil fuels other, uh, more than other energy sources, we will be left with barely any energy. That will be a disaster in our technology-dominated world, since technology can't work without uh, energy. That alone will be a huge hit on humanity. We do not want that to happen. Why shouldn't we replace fossil fuels when there are plenty of other energy sources that do the job fossil fuels do, but cause less damage? Other sources might be expensive, but we have to also worry about the future. The longer we wait, the worse it will get. We won't be able to get rid of the fossil fuels all at once. Uh, it will be a long process, but we don't have a lot of time left, so we have to take action right now. We're stabbing ourselves in the back by using fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are playing a huge part in possible extinction of humans and other animals. We'll do ourselves a huge favor by replacing them. In fact, according to Quartz.com, fossil fuels cause more than more deaths uh, per year than wars, murders, and traffic accidents combined. Uh, uh, because of fossil fuels, there are 4.3 million deaths because of the pollution they cause, and 500,000 deaths uh, caused by extreme temperatures that fossil fuels create. Uh, thank you for listening to the report. First, I'd like to refute some of my opponent's points, and then she will build on them later. Um, Elias said that accidents happen with nuclear energy and the dam went in China. But accidents happen, and those accidents are huge. They kill thousands and thousands of people compared to fossil fuels which don't kill any at the time. No, thank you. And then, mining for coal, sure, it, I guess they um, it causes deaths, but that compared to the deaths in nuclear energy and fall radiation are slim to none. And then also, he said that uh, if we just dig just six miles, which is 31,680 uh, feet down to the earth, that's um, that, would that would probably cost millions of dollars to do it just for one home or like anything and so for greater it be, good for what for greater good for greater good but yeah but it still wouldn't be it wouldn't be practical for the time that we have now and um we can't use fossil fuel, we can't use renewable energy all the time because say say like in alaska um 
they have say uh, uh, 30 days a night, and so if they have solar panels in there, they won't be able to use them. So they'd have to result to something else, which would be fossil fuels, which work 100% of the time, no matter what climate. Yes. There are more energy sources than just solar power. We already talked about that. Yeah, I know. But so they even though there might not be sun in Alaska, that doesn't mean that we can't use other renewable energy sources. Okay, so if they say hydroelectric, what Richie said, the dam killed thousands and thousands of people. What about wind power? Wind power, um, not all places are windy. And um, climate change, climate, you no know, one can pr predict the climate as uh, higher pressure in Alaska. Okay, well still, no one can predict the climate perfectly, even if it is uh, enough wind to do it. So, yeah, vote for a proposition side, or an opposition side. <laughs> <laughs> to expand on, on Ethan's points, on our, our points, uh, storms may be frequent in some areas, which may happen more frequently, such as the Henan province in China. Fossil fuels fall. Uh, winds and solar also, yeah, like Ethan said, winds and solar don't, you can't get that all the time. And, you can't get that all the time, so there's no point of over relying on renewable energy if we can still use fossil fuels. That's it. Thank you, please vote for the opposition.